down pen safe to check me out for do rot guilt. The guilt dad has caught here. This is 24 6. She's an Unleash the Bees back on a high class sow. And I think this guilt is high class. She's really cool up through that front end. She's level topped, really square out of that blade. She sets those feet down wide and square at the ground. Really good in terms of shape out through her hip and hind legs. Um, you study her from the side. She's deep body. She's big ribs. Just watch her go. She gets out and moves extremely well. You'll see in her litter ear, she does have a little bit of a crinkle there. That's not going to hurt her at hurt her at all. Um, I think this gilt's one that could be big time if you're looking at still wanting to go to like a state fair. You want to go to like the Indiana Stock Show. You want to go to the Eastern Regional. Hit those Georgia National Shows. Go down to Alabama. So much potential in this gilt. Um, one I think she has a lot of a lot of fun days. And again, that's twenty. 4-6. Um, this is going to be 23-11. 23-11 is a front line back on a red bone and I think this girl is pretty cool. Um, she's still a little immature and young in her um, maturity pattern but I love how she's put together and designed. She's wide at the ground. She's wide in her upper skeleton. Extremely true in terms of that muscle shape. She sets those feet down really square made at the ground really good in terms of that center body dimension as well one i really like she can get out and move extremely well um, extremely good structurally we'll see as she comes around the corner here um, she's a little fun to be just a little ornery and out here for us today but guys take our word for us i think this is a guilt that has a whole lot of upside potential to go out and just be a big time do rock guilt look at her right there she has all the right parts and pieces um still in an immature package which is right where we need them at this at this stage this here is 24 4. she's an unleash the beast high class as well so this is the big broody stout made gilt that we're offering a study that skull she's stout skull yet clean fronted very square out over that top square out through that hip very good in terms of that muscle shape and design really good in terms of the center body dimension as well she sets those feet down square to the ground um, takes a very nice athletic move I think this guilt has the potential to go out and have a lot of fun come this summer and fall at all the different shows that she can hit. Um, so if you're looking for guilt that you can go out and show, be competitive, take home and breathe, I think this is one that I would definitely, <laughs> definitely look at. 3-12. 23-12 kind of the lightest color guilt in the pin today. Um, to me, today, she is the greenest of the four, but don't let that fool you. I think her parts to pieces are extremely good. She squared the ground. She square topped, really up-headed. She does have that cocky head and attitude to her. Um, she's really correct in her angles as she, um, she hits the ground. Um, she has a groove down that top and out through her hip. Really good center body. She has the most upside potential. You get her home while well, feed her in 30 days, you won't recognize her. Red hogs that are green early, they grow, they keep that structure underneath them, and they're usually the ones that are extremely competitive at the end of the day um, as we get about, oh, four or five months down the road here.